On September 2, 2017, the Florida State Seminoles kicked off their football season with a huge opener against the Alabama Crimson Tide. It was a number one versus number three ranked matchup. The Seminoles were looking to prove that Alabama is not unbeatable. But after experiencing multiple turnovers and special teams disasters, FSU lost with a final score of 24-7. And that wasn't the only loss of the night. FSU's starting quarterback, DeAndre Francois, suffered a season-ending knee injury in the fourth quarter. The official diagnosis was a patella tendon injury. It's pretty much the patellar tendon is the tendon that runs from your patella, which is your kneecap, to your tibia. And this normally, if you have a tear in your patella tendon, normally you have to have surgery on it and uh, a lot of physical therapy after surgery. So the time for recovery of a patella tendon tear is about four to seven months. With DeAndre Francois being gone for the rest of the season, true freshman James Blackman has stepped up to the plate to be the new starting quarterback. I feel like Blackman, he, once he like, identifies his own style and then applies that to the field, I think he'll be great. Even during the Miami game last week, you can clearly see he was learning more and more as the game went on. And he struggled at first, but then as the game progressed, he was making his reads, hitting the check downs, getting protections right. So I feel like personally, he's improving. So the more, the more he's in there, the better he's going to get in my opinion. The Florida State Seminoles still have seven games ahead in the 2017 football season. Tough matchups like Louisville, Clemson, and Florida remain. Fans continue to be hopeful for the rest of the season, and everyone wishes DeAndre Francois a speedy recovery. For Seminole Showcase, I'm Luke Lyles.